Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. Today we have a really big pile of adult fiction and nonfiction, which we're super excited about, and a few audiobooks that we'll hopefully try to match with their companion books. We can't guarantee we'll remember them. We can't them. guarantee, but we'll try. In the meantime, I'm going to do one audiobook that I know we already have the book for, yes. which is Late in the Day by Tessa Hadley. Super popular. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's lives of two close-knit couples are irrevocably changed by an untimely death. I guess we're starting. This is it. I'm Amber. It's Oh, yeah. I'm Eliza. This one, I really like the cover. And it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Um, Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. Ooh. And he wrote a, lot a Brief of History press, of Seven Killings. Which won the Booker Prize. I'm going to say the Booker Prize. Yeah, it won the, book, the Brief History of Seven Killings. won the Man mm -hmm. Booker Prize. This says, myth, fantasy, and history merge in this stunning novel following a mercenary in his search for a missing child. That sounds a little too deep for me, but I like the idea of myth, fantasy, and history all coming together. So, so I'll just say, like, the tagline for this book, since, like, it's every review and everywhere is saying it, is that it's the, like, African Game of Thrones. So that's oh, the okay. comparison you're looking for. Interesting. And I think it's, like, got that element of sort of violence and realism that um, Game of Thrones has, and it also has that element of, like, epic fantasy with lots of different stuff going on. So, I mean, if Neil Gaiman is leaving, mm -hmm. like, a review, and then I don't know who Louis, Louise Erdit, Erdrich? She writes, um, I don't know. She's, she writes her, sort of, like, Native American fiction. Interesting. So this is, like, it seems like they're, a they're different both really kind of big thing. Names. It's not a psychological thriller, then. Not a psychological thriller. <laughs> also not a psychological thriller. I'm going to pick this one because I really like Eleanor Lipman. I've enjoyed her other books, and I think she's a kind of local author, and she writes sort of fun funny contemporary fiction and this one is called Good Riddance and uh it looks fun looks light yeah yeah I don't I can't remember something about someone de declutters stuff and then somebody else ends up with their stuff and mm. ensues, so. so really what happens in the <laughs> end uh an utterly correct guide to clarity and style Dreyer's English Interesting. This is a nonfiction, so it's um. Yeah, this is like the latest sort of big style guide that somebody's written, saying how they think everybody should be writing stuff. Oh, the stuff. stuff in the front, the stuff in the back. That's what the type, that's what the chapters are called. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I, I get the impression he's a guy who has a lot it's of witty. opinions. It's supposed yeah. to be witty. So. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be more like fun to read than it is really like a style manual. Yeah. The Huntress by Kate Quinn, and this looks like a sort of a historical mystery thriller. It does look very oh, mysterious. Soviet Russia, an all-female night bomber regiment wreaking havoc on Hitler's Eastern Front. Oh no! So and then historical. she's oh, and then okay, so this is she ends up um, trying to track down this woman called the Huntress, who was a Nazi murderess. I remember reading a review of this. It sounds really intense, but also just like super interesting. Very women centric. Mm -hmm. I wish I like. Um, okay, The Lost Girls of Paris by Pam Genop. Oh, and she wrote The Orphan's Tale, which was well, very well received. Um, this is a story of friendship and courage centered around three women and a ring of female secret agents during World War II. Oh, well. We have another. We have another woman-centric historical <laughs> fiction. Cool. <laughs> they probably didn't plan that, but hey, you can read them both and compare. Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. I like the way that sounds. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like this because sometimes you do start to feel like just overwhelmed by how much stuff there is. I suspect this will go right off the shelf. Yeah. Uh, the Unwinding of the Miracle, a memoir of life, death, and everything that comes after by Julie Yip Williams. So it's a young mother facing terminal, terminal mm. diagnosis, I assume, cancer. Um, and she just chronicles her early death, and, or imminent early death. Uh, and So kind of like when living. breath becomes air, and then there was that other one too. Sounds really sad, but... Mm, it does sound really sad. It's a biography. Um, okay, so we have a pair. The Lost Man by Jane Harper. I've read her two other books, which are both um, crime novels that take place in Australia. And I guess this is 
uh, the, along the same lines, except it doesn't feature the same characters as those books, which I was a little disappointed about because I really liked those characters, but um, I also just like the books so much that I'm super excited. And we have a match. I really like the cover. I realized that I didn't take the audio books out of there. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> no answer, so it's like a mystery or something? Yeah, it's a mystery. like Vanna White. Oh, do this one. This is a match, too. Oh. Finding Dorothy by Elizabeth Letts. <laughs> it's uh, a story behind the the story behind the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh. Makes sense that it's called Finding Dorothy. Yeah, it takes place in 1938 Hollywood. Very interesting. And mm. But this is fiction. That's interesting because the cover doesn't look very Hollywood. I guess it must have been confusing. It looks more Oz. It looks yeah, like... Yeah, it looks way more Oz. Yeah, see, there's Dorothy. But maybe if they felt like if they made like a Hollywood cover, that wouldn't send the right message. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Sophie Kinsella's surprised me. Um, she writes sort of fun, romantic, uh, comedic Wait, books. Wait, the book isn't called Surprise Me, though. Oops. It's called I O U One. On the back, it talks about Surprise Me. <laughs> they fooled me. It's called... <laughs> I owe you one. I owe you one, designers of the covers. And, um... <laughs> she hasn't come out with a new book in a while, has she? No, no, yeah, she used to really churn them out. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's a woman who starts running her family's houseware store and um, is sort of the one doing all the work instead of her siblings and then ends up meeting an investment manager. Who gives her an IOU? So like love, like a kind of. I mean, of I imagine there's there's love. Sounds like for other books, guessing. maybe. They meet cute. The Black Ascot by Charles Todd. Yes. Just sort looks of really forbidding. creepy. Um, Scotland Yard's Ian Rutledge. So I guess this is part of a a series. Seeks a cunning killer who has eluded Scotland Yard for ten years. It's a mystery. Exciting mystery. Susan Mallory, California Girls, and this is sort of like a, um, what, how would you, she's not really romance, I guess no. like contemporary fiction about a popular LA morning show host who's um, blindsided on live TV by the news that her husband is sleeping with a pop star. Funny story. Never a good start to your day. Makes for a good book though. Uh, let me finish. Trump, the Kushners, Bannon, New Jersey, and the Power of In Your Face Politics by Chris Christie. Yes, Mr. Christie himself has written a book. I think that says all it has to say. Yeah. yeah. The Heartbeat of Wounded Knee, Native America from 1890 to Present. And um, so this is sort of like a more heavy historical book, but um, I, I guess it's a response to... The book bury my heart at wounded knee which sort of basically said that um wounded knee and the stuff that happened right around then was sort of the end of native american civilization in the united states and this is sort of looking at all the stuff that's been going on since then mm -hmm. the last romantics by tara conlon i really like this cover i like that cover too it's like a little i kind of like the title i'm, I'm in they, they got me <laughs> there's a poet who's asked about the inspiration behind her work and she tells her audience a story about her family and a betrayal that reverberates through time uh -huh. Ooh, it's a sweeping yet intimate epic i like i like books family. where someone is older and then they go back and like tell the stories yeah. lisa gardner never tell uh is this like our first psychological thriller oh how that be that would be so crazy what truly goes on behind closed doors you can never tell uh, the Hiding Place I don't know, by C.J. Tudor. The worst day of his life wasn't when his sister went missing. It was the day she came back. That sounds super creepy. I feel like this is going to be one where there's like, let me guess, a twist right at the end. Um, that you're like guessing, guessing, guessing right up until like the page before it ends. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that made me think of zombies. Like I'm sure she actually just comes <laughs> back from being missing. She but comes back from the dead. 
Uh, this is called No Beast So Fierce. Remember we were talking about this one? This is about the tiger that killed hmm, 435 yeah. people in Nepal. Which I don't know how they For over seven know years. That. I think they, they knew where the tiger was like after it killed people. It sounds really intense because... It, it traveled from village to village, so nobody ever knew where it was. And there's then pictures it, in it. There's pictures. There's a little insert. Oh, picture. look at that. Little drawings and crazy things. Yeah. And they had to send out a. They sent out the army on it. They both got really good reviews. It sounds like a really interesting story. I, mean, I guess that's what we would have done. Duped. Double lives, false identities, and the con man I almost married by Abby Ellen. I don't know who this person is. She was shocked to learn that her it's a fa memoir. fiance was leading a secret life. I mean, but then you have to wonder, like, what was the secret life? Yeah, you, I want to know. Those, Ooh, I'm, I'm such a exotic for those stories books. of international espionage. Uh, he's, he's See, don't you want to? <laughs> um, okay, we have another match, and I actually missed this. We have an audio of Good Riddance, the Eleanor Lipman book from before. Oops, we're running out of space. We have so many books. Uh, and then this is called The Night Tiger. Uh, I feel like I just talked to someone who read this. Was it someone at the library? It wasn't me. Um, an apprentice mm. dressmaker moonlighting as a dance girl because to pay off her mother's mahjong debts. This is set in 1930s colonial Malaysia. And she meets a, a Chinese houseboy who has to find his master's severed finger to bury it with his body because I think they they want the whole body to be get together. And so they, it's got really good reviews. It's one of those books where you're sort of seeing like advertisements and stuff for it everywhere. And I think I yeah, talked to someone who read it and really liked it. It's a good title. Yeah, it's a good title. More Than Words by Jill Santanopolo. San Santopolo. 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 I don't know. In any case, she wrote The Light We Lost, which was very, very popular. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Nina has always known who she's supposed to be, but is that who she truly is? So it sounds like she finds herself, and it's heartbreaking, romantic. It's about grief, loss, love, and self discovery. James Grappando, The Girl in the Glass Box. I'm going to go with thriller. Anything with like blinds, like window blinds, it's a thriller. But this is a thriller about like um, legal stuff, an undocumented immigrant um, hmm. who, who's fleeing violence. And then, so it sounds like it's maybe a thriller with like a courtroom element too. Interesting. And I think this is the Whoa. last one. Yeah. One Day in December by Josie Silver. Looks that like looks cute. love, chances. That looks like a good book for someone love. who doesn't want to be traumatized. By anything. Yeah. That's it. Everything. Everything is out. Bye.